Hello, I'm sorry, this is part two um, of your next passionate relationship continued. Um, if you watched part two, you'll see at the end the camera fell over and it stopped recording. So I'm just going to finish off part two with the timings. So it was a very beautiful reading um, for those in separation, if that resonates. So let's get the timings for the highest light, love and truth. For part two, what, when might this happen? When might this reunion happen? For part two, we've got at work, so it could be work colleagues for some of you. Something to do with work, anyway. They could come to your workplace. Maybe they know where you work, um, and wait for you. You know, at the end of the day or something got in a few weeks say yes to new adventures so yeah they want you to say yes to what they propose to you you know and yeah they they really want new adventures with you what else for part two what else for part two we've got christmas time so for some it could be the end of the year We got September. Anything else? Any other timings? Any other timings for part two? Well, we got June. So for some of you, it could be happening very quickly um, in this month as I'm recording this. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there for part two and I will go to part three. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. Hello, part three. You chose the chakra bracelet. So we're going to look at your next passionate relationship. So this is the overall energy. So we've got powerful signs. So you could be receiving signs right now. If you're single, um, there could be signs. You could be seeing numbers. Um, there could be synchronicities, um, there could be music, um, there just could be something that resonates for you, um, so look out for the signs, um, the signs are giving you that information and letting you know something is on its way. So this is my Love Games Oracle in my shop. So we've got immature person. So you could be meeting someone who's a bit emotionally immature, I feel. And reunion. Oh, for some of you, it's a reunion here. Okay. And friendship. So this is very similar to part two then. Um, because that, that felt like that as well. Um, that it's somebody coming back. So the signs could be... Um, letting you know what's happening in your connection if you're in separation from somebody um, and obviously it'd be different for all of you I don't know how long you've been in separation from this person um, you know it could be a while it could be different maybe your friends and you want more than that um, they could be emotionally immature um, and you were not on the same page um, but it's definitely, there's a reunion coming coming in. So we'll go deeper in a minute. Yeah, we've got new beginnings. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I doubt. Well, so it's definitely a new beginning with this person um, that you're not, you know, you're not speaking to, you're not with. It feels like you're not with this person or even talking to them maybe. And they could be a friend, you know, there could be a friend. Um, it could have been a friendship and maybe you've just not heard from them. But there's definitely a new beginning. We've got the number 44, which is a power number. And we've got the butterfly transformation. So you could have both been doing work on yourselves. You could have both been healing, clearing from the past. You know, maybe one or both of you in other relationships. And you needed to sort that out, you know, in your lives. And we've got joy. As I do, will so mote it be. Let joy and light radiate from me. And the number 16, which is a 7, which is that spiritual number. So it could be a spiritual connection. You could feel a spiritual um, connection with this person. And, yeah, when you were with them, they brought joy to your life. 
you brought joy to each other you, you made each other feel good maybe you had like really fun times together um you could have been very connected creatively maybe you shared a creative passion or something like that um but yeah this is going to be joyful um it's going to be happy happy times so what energy is the feminine in when you get back together so we've got leo energy shine so i feel the feminine is really starting to shine um as you've been doing that healing on yourself releasing work going through a transformation whatever that is for you your light is shining out there and you're not afraid to be seen you're not afraid to be authentic you could be a leo um or it could be leo season is significant um but you're starting to shine and this person is noticing that this is getting their attention here and call your emotions we've got aries energy here so yeah maybe you're a very passionate person and maybe you're very impulsive um with that aries energy you could be aries um could be fire sign you've got leo and aries here and um, maybe you're very impulsive and very passionate maybe you act sometimes without thinking or you say things without thinking and you're le you've learned a bit more self-control um maybe you you like to not um show everything you know and um I don't know how to word it you're not you're not always going to be as upfront as you were before maybe you're just going to be a bit more calm and cool and not fully express how you feel um, in an impulsive way which is maybe what you did before and you're going to be a bit more measured is that the word and you know you're going to watch what you do or say and um, before you you know know what the other person is feeling or thinking so you're gonna you're gonna come across as quite cool I feel when you meet this person you're not maybe you're not going to show um, the extent of your feelings and the masculine's energy is know your worth. So we've got Taurus energy here. So there could be a Taurus, could be an earth sign. Um, or again, Taurus season. We've just been through Taurus season though, actually. Um, so yeah, I feel the masculine is starting to know their own worth. They're really stepping into their own self-worth. You know, they're, they're realising they're worthy, they're deserving. And again, maybe they didn't feel on the same page as you. Maybe they didn't feel they deserved somebody like you. Um, and they were emotionally immature. And I feel they've done a lot of work on themselves. They've matured. Um, and they're letting go of that immature emotional energy that maybe they had before. Yeah, releasing control. So again, Taurus energy again. So very grounded energy. This person is going to be quite grounded, I feel um quite you know quite secure um in life in some way you know it could be finances and work they could be very secure and they're coming forward when they feel that way because they feel more confident and they're not trying to control anything maybe before they in that emo in immature emotional energy they were trying to control things control you maybe um because of fear um you know because you know they were fearful um and now they're just going with the flow more they're they're releasing control of any any of it and they're trusting more so this is my journey of love oracle so what other messages so time to heal and meditate so i feel that you've both been doing this i feel in your own time in your own space however long you've been apart you've you've been working on yourselves and please don't break my heart so there is a fear around this you know you've both been broken hearted through other situations maybe and even this situation and there is a fear of um, love of, of letting your guard down but I feel that you've both been working on that and you both want to come forward and express your truth yeah we've got passionate moments together they've really been thinking about you you both probably have each other in that way that you want these passionate moments together you want to express how you feel um in a passionate way there's a lot of passion here and yeah they don't want to rush things they want to go with the flow they don't want to pressure you into anything they want to take it softly softly gently gently with you they don't want to rush into anything or scare you off um but there is a lot of passion they feel a lot of passion here for you 
And yeah, they want this new beginning in love. They want to express their feelings. And they want to take it to the next level. That You know, if you were just friends before, they want to take it to the next level. They want, you know, they want to see how you feel. And so they want to come forward and express that. So let's look at the love about you, Oracle. What do they, how do they see you? You are truly beautiful inside and out. So they see, you know, you're obviously, they're very attractive to you. But they see your internal beauty, you know, your beautiful soul. And they love your hair, something about your hair. I feel they fantasize about touching your hair, like, you know, having having your hair in their face or something like that. Yeah, they love your cheeky smile. They want to make you smile. They want they want to make you laugh. Yeah, they want to have fun times, be lighthearted. And they love your voice, sexy voice. I could listen to you all night long. So something about your voice really does arouse them and turns them on. And this is my something sexy about you deck. Yeah, they want to kiss you passionately. So as you as it says friendship here, you may not have even kissed. Um, but they want to kiss you. They want to kiss you. They want to express how they feel through their kisses. So let's look at the tarot and then we're going to get the central messages. So what can you tell part three about the next central, sorry, the next passionate relationship? What can you tell part three, the highest light, love and truth about the next passionate relationship? What can you tell part three? We've got Queen of Pentacles energy. So you could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they or they see you in this energy. They see you as somebody very grounded, very gentle, very loving and nurturing, very stable. Yeah, we've got the chariot. They want to move things forward. They want to come forward here. Yeah, they want to come forward. What else for pile? Next question relationship. What else can you tell them? Yeah, we've got four of clubs. There's a lot of regret here um, about not taking anything further, not doing anything about their feelings, feeling that missed opportunity of you. They could be drinking. You know, he's holding a bottle of wine or something. They could be. They could have been drinking. They could have been drowning their sorrows, you know, turn into some sort of addiction or something. But they want this. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want to come in. They want to have a loving relationship with you. They want to share their abundance with you, whatever that is. They want to build a home together, a family, and have that stability and abundance. Yeah, they definitely want to reconcile with the Six of Cups. They want to, they've been thinking about it a lot. They've really been... You've been heavily on their mind. You've got we've got night cups. They want to come forward in a playful, romantic, fun energy and offer you their love. And they see you as the Queen of Cups as well. So they see you as somebody grounded, somebody very loving and nurturing. You know, they hold you in, in high self-esteem. So what else about Pile Three's next passionate relationship? What else? Yeah, they want to transform this with the death card. They want to transform out this separation. Yeah, wow, well, we've got the ten of cups. So they want a loving relationship with you. And they don't want to fail at this with the six of wands. They want to succeed. And they want to bring in success and victory. And they want a new chapter with you of the world. You know, they want a whole new start with you here. So what are their central desires? So this is my central desires deck. A connection, intimacy, they really feel that with you. And they see you as shining bright. We had that earlier. You know, your light is reaching them. They're seeing you shine right now. You're like a star to them. They want to take you dancing they, or just, like, hold you in their arms. And they have hot desires for you, a lot of passion. And they want to hold you close. They want you to hold them close and never let each other go. And have those really big hugs. And, you know, you excite and arouse this person. And this is the My Love, Wild and Free deck. So, yeah, they see you as a temptation, see you as a tease. They want to kiss you. They desire you. You know, you may not have even kissed each other. And they want to hold on tight to you. They, they want you to be theirs. And they want you to feel the same. And enjoying the taste of each other. They want to be intimate with you and express themselves in that way. And be uninhibited and 
they feel so connected to you they really do and this is my dark deeper desires yeah they want to have sexy play times with you they want to really enjoy that intimacy with you and express it and love with abandon embrace it let it envelope you they want to allow this feelings this love to take them over um they want to be brave and, and and really go for it so let's look at the timings what are the timings here for pile three timings for pile three timings here next passionate relationship when might this happen We've got they will call you so they're going to be a reaching out so for some it could be a text it's definitely going to be a reaching out communication yeah look at that i just said that text so text or phone call definitely going to be a reaching out so when might they get together the highest light of and truth we've got summer so in the northern hemisphere, we're, in, we're coming into summertime now, so it could be any time soon. And we've got December as well for some of you, so it could be later in the year. It's all the timing thing, but it is within this year, as I said, this, these readings are for this year. So for some, your birthday could be significant. I don't know if you've got a birthday coming up, um, or they've got a birthday coming up. It could be significant now. Well, we've got within a week for some of you. So, yeah, for some of you, depending on when you watch this, it could be that soon within a week. So beautiful messages there. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Love and blessings.